want to discuss the Tom shit, but, um, you know, I mean, if there's just too much to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I've been I've been dragging my feet hosting this show lately. Mm-hmm. I apologize for that. I've been suffering from a little bit of acid reflux. I didn't want to go public with it. But, yeah. You're you know, brave, though. I know. You're, we're going to fight this thing. This Nick. way, little kids that mm-hmm. have acid reflux, mm-hmm. they hear you say the N-word, and they're like, I can do that one. My day. uncle huh. just got cancer, esophageal cancer. Oh, and, shit. And it's, uh, there's just no chance. So like he's, they're like... Oh, ch- ch- yeah. You're what are the symptoms of the acid reflux and also esophageal cancer? The symptoms of esophageal cancer, I guess, are like thinking you have the flu for six months and ignoring the tennis ball sized lymph nodes on the side of your head. <laughs> yeah, that, is, that might yeah. be a little, <laughs> little something. Those are the, yeah, having yeah. G- g- uh, constantly having like 12 beers. Right. Yeah, having like 35 beers to <laughs> yeah. call your stomach pain. But no, he just said, I guess, like, I'm like genetically predisposed to a little bit of uh, acid reflux. It's just, you know, no, it just it just feels like a cold burning sensation in my chest. Interesting. It goes up to you know like my throat, and it's like there's a hard lump in there. And then when it gets worse, sometimes I'll like burp, and you can feel like the just stomach acid like splash oh, up yeah. into the back yeah. of your throat. Well, sure. I, I've had that. You ever wake up in the middle of the night and you feel like you're yes. throwing up? Uh-huh. Yeah. But it's I think everything I say, Stop goes yes. 100%. Two three words in. He's like, exactly, yeah, I know exactly. Of what course. You're but it's about. like you you wake up and you got this and something's in your throat. It's like uh-huh. you cough up this stomach acid or whatever it is, and then you just swallow it. Well, here's what it is. Yeah. You filled your. We have filled our stomachs so to the brim. <laughs> really. That there is shit coming. It's literally a space issue, I believe. Wow. Where it's like there's fucking cheeseburger <laughs> debris all the way up into your Jesus throat. Christ. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's really what it is. When you're this fat and you don't usually get heartburn and right. that kind of shit. Yeah, I know. It's because you've overstuffed yourself to the point that there is that nowhere. That sounds right. I don't know there if is that no, is right. Scientifically, it's correct. Now, here's why I know. Because yeah. if I take a real fat shit yeah. before <laughs> I fall asleep. Not a problem. Yeah, sometimes I know when I go to sleep and I haven't shit. shit. I know there's a huge You're problem. You're backing coming. that shit up. Bro. No, it's it's, it's literally a, shit yeah. coming out of your mouth if you really. No, because then sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm just like something's wrong and I don't <laughs> yes. know what it is. I'm sweating. I'm, I'm sweating. Cold sweating. Yeah, and I don't know if I should go to a hospital. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And then yeah. you shit and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, and then you it. shit and then you're okay. I've for never, a I've never had to wake up to shit ever. Are you kidding? Never really? once in my life. Oh, I've woke. There was a period of my life. Where it's an emergency. Every piss, yeah. piss every night. Yeah, yeah. six but, times a night. Mm-hmm. No, there's there was a period of my life which you know comes comes in and out where I wouldn't even have to set an alarm. It would be I would just wake up shitting and needing to shit in a cold sweat. Yeah. The first thing I remember is my asshole clinch. I'm waking up <laughs> from the power of my asshole clinching. Yeah. The turd. That's trying to escape, and then and I. And then run if you out. go to sit down to shit and you can't shit, you go. I have a whole oh, that's a- world of hell. That's right. You, that's you about- have to give birth to a turd. And then there's <laughs> something. Yeah. There's something weird about yeah. it being like two a.m. Yeah. Yes, dude. And it not being sick. Like if you sit down at six thirty on the toilet, you're like, all right, other people are awake. Right. I wish. This I feel is, like yeah. I'm not contributing, but I have. No understanding of what you're talking. <laughs> yeah, about. Is, it's, it's like, like you're, it's like you're describing something out, outside of the visible spectrum of light. Yes, exactly. You're, you're both <laughs> effusively talking about a color. We can see. It's a feeling that you. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's a an feeling. emotion you'll never know. Is there a German it's, word for this type <laughs> yeah. of thing? People know it. People have felt oh, it. Oh, uh, scheiße gestalt. It's fe- yeah. There's it's, fear. It's only something that you know. It's a turd. It's, it's an uneasiness. <laughs> there's fear. There's but there's also a strange. Satisfaction and relief. Yes, it is part of the 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 purging cycle. This is our specific kind of eating disorder. Have you ever seen a well, spider we purge from our mouths? It comes out of our ass. Have you ever seen a spider molt and it just sheds its skin and it becomes another spider? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's kind of what Stop Russ and me dude. do. I feel like that's a what new it is. Man after that shit comes yeah, out, yeah, you shit out a person. <laughs> have you ever have you ever this weighed is, yourself this is before? Insane to me, I don't know. Have well, you ever I mean, weighed I'm yourself so, maybe before you guys are and then after yeah, the shit? Are cucks. What? Have you ever weighed yourself before a shit? I've never weighed shit? myself before or after <laughs> yeah. a shit or any time. I've never gotten on a scale and was like, well, what is it? Yeah, What's yeah. the number today? Yeah, I don't need to know. Yeah, no. I don't really want to know. I, I just it's, I go by uh, like how the clothes fit and how the airplane sure, seat feels. Sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. If I need to ask for the extender. <laughs> yeah, if the, people, <laughs> no, 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 if the no. people in the row complain <laughs> to the flight attendant right. in front of me. How heavy the sign yeah. is when they see me walking to that middle seat. That's how I I know. I'm, I mean, I'm people getting. literally now will do like a, they take a deep breath and they go, 
<laughs> like they're preparing themselves for war. Like it's Game of Thrones. My sister when I said sit down. she sat next to a guy that got two seats. Just out of respect mm, for respect everyone else him. on the train. On the Honestly, plane. I I want to live that lifestyle. I yeah. want just be a that's a baller. I want to get a row. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you're in a row. That'd be amazing. It's just there's like a, a couple like in a row, and that guy comes by and he's bought both <laughs> tickets, but he did waited for seat assignment, and he's like, "Excuse me, so can you move so I can be fat as shit?" <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind moving so I can be just I'm yeah. be irresponsibly? Be that <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just I I I just want to be here with myself. But yeah. I'm traveling with my uh, hundreds of pounds yeah. of excess. Body I actually fat. own this part of the plane, <laughs> yeah. so. If you